All right, this is Algebra 1 Practice ELC question 44, test 3. It says, which expression is an equivalent form of all of this fun stuff for all values of P, Q, and R for which the expression is defined, okay? So pretty much all they want you to do is solve this using the properties of exponents, okay? Well, let's deal again with the things that are in common, okay? We have a number by itself, 64, and then 112 right here. Well, those two numbers, we can reduce those. When we reduce those, both of those numbers will divide or reduce by 16. 64 is going to become a 4 because 64 divided by 16 is 4. And then we're going to reduce the 112 by 16 and that's going to become a 7. So somewhere we need to have a 4 on the top and a 7 on the bottom. We've dealt with our numbers. They're gone. Let's get rid of them. Okay? Well, now we're going to deal with our P's. Okay? Again, we're going to deal with the things that are alike. So now we have our p to the eighth. Oh, that's really good. Our p to the eighth and our p to the fourth. Okay. Well, whenever you're dividing exponents, kind of think about it like this. Uh, a good friend once told me one time that if you kind of do and draw the order of operations, you can say, "Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally." And exponents are way up here. They kind of have these big old egos that they're working with, and we want to bring the exponents back down to the reality, like where everyone else is. So whenever we're bringing an exponent back down to reality, whenever we're multiplying, we, get, we have to add them. Whenever we bring our exponents back down to reality by division, we have to subtract them. Well, here, we're doing some division, so we have to subtract our exponents. So we have a p to the eighth on the bottom divided by a p to the fourth. So let's subtract eight minus 4 is going to give us 4. And I'm going to put p to the 4 on the bottom because if I had 8 p's on the bottom, there goes 8, and then 4 p's on the top, if I got rid of the 4 p's, I'm still going to have 4 p's left on the bottom, which is why I have p to the 4th on the bottom. So now I'm done with the p's. So let's try the q's. If we look at it so that we have six q's on the top and we're doing some subtraction six minus two is going to give us four but we would have a q to the four on the top so again if you only had two q's on the bottom you get rid of the two q's get rid of the two q's you're going to have four q's that are left on the top and then the last one you have r's uh, and of course i get the pleasure of sitting here writing twelve r's so on the bottom you have twelve r's three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then on the top you have 4 R's, 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, like I said, you have to subtract 12 minus 4. That's going to give you R to the 8th. Well, that's going to be on the bottom because if you took away the 4 R's, you took away the 4 R's from the bottom, you're still going to be left with 8 R's. Okay? So if you go and look at which one of, your, which one of these matches up with your answer choice, you're going to see that your answer should be number or letter C. Good luck.